Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to show the interior lights that I installed. Before I added the lights, I made a little room in the space on the right to hide all the wires and also to give the appearance of a bathroom. I used the wall divider that came with the kit and then I cut a piece of foam core for the front wall. And then I cut a door opening to fit this narrow door by Houseworks. There's a link in the description box to where you can find some of the items that I use. I glued the wall in place and then I painted the walls. Here you can see I've added my tape wire and now I'm drilling holes for the downstairs light fixtures. I'm using these outlets that I got on eBay for lamps in the bedroom and then I'm also putting one behind the door for the light fixtures. I'm using the method that I showed in my wiring video to connect the outlets to the tape wire. This is one of the fixtures that I'm using and I'm adding color to it with the gallery glass paint. When you first put it on, it's thick and opaque, but when it dries, the colors become transparent and it looks like stained glass. I ran the wires along the ceiling and into the tiny room where they'll be out of sight once the door is in place. And now for the downstairs. Here I'm running the wire through the hole that I drill. As you can see, I've been working on the interior. I added a foam core wall for the staircase. I've put in my wallpaper and crown molding and I also cut a hole for a round window that I'm going to use. I'll show that in an upcoming video. Now I'm just adding Gorilla Glue to the fixture and I press it firmly against the ceiling for a couple of minutes until the glue dries. I always remove the sticky foam pad that comes with these fixtures so the ceiling plate will lay flat against the ceiling. Then I connect the wires to the tape wire upstairs. I repeated these steps to install this lamp in the kitchen. And as you can see, I have a very retro look in here with the lamp, the batwing doors, and the 70s wallpaper. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did wallpaper over the window opening and that's a little trick that I use whenever I need more space for furniture, or in this case, kitchen appliances. Before adding the wallpaper, I glued a piece of black poster board over the opening and from the outside it just looks like a normal window. Well that's it for now. Be sure to check out my upcoming videos where I show how I install the flooring and the round window in the stairwell. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.